How much garbage do we make? Annie! Annie! Mm. She likes to sneak outside and she'll go under these cars. She'll go over by the neighbor's house. She always comes right back after a little while. But she's bad. I just put my stuff in the truck and I just seen Annie! Come! Annie, come! Annie! Annie! She's over by the neighbor's house, underneath, underneath his truck. Come! She's so bad. Come over here. Come. You're so bad. Gotcha. I'm still telling Daniel. You're gonna be in big trouble. Get in there. All right, Annie's back in, but she got out of her responsibility this morning. So I'm loading up the truck, and Ryan and I, as we do every year, we're heading back up north to Stanley, Wisconsin, and we're just gonna spend a day and a half hunting. You know, we go up there every year. We rarely get a deer, but it's a lot of fun, and uh, just get to spend some time together, relax, get away from home. Should be fun. Ryan's just about ready to go. Got my stuff loaded up pretty much, and I'm gonna head get some coffee, and then we're heading up to Stanley. I think it's about a four hour drive, and it's a beautiful day. It's just about 32 degrees, but there's no wind, and it should be nice for hunting uh, this evening and tomorrow. Bye, Grace. Bye. We'll be back with a couple huge deer, okay? Okay. We gotta be optimistic, right, Ryan? Ryan's in a 10-year drought. Well, it's about to be over. Mm, hopefully. 10-year drought. You're like Santa Claus with your list. I what? You're like Santa Claus with those lists. He's checking it once. He's checking it twice. <laughs> I keep all my lists right in my head. Yeah. <laughs> remember one time I forgot all my hunting clothes? <laughs> remember that? I forgot the whole bag. Your, your phone charger thing, seriously. I got another phone charger. Okay. And the fan. The fan. Yeah, I forgot the fan. <laughs> For me, no fan, no sleep. Gotta have a fan when I sleep. That's not bad. I only forgot one thing. That's yet to be seen. I forgot my key. I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna let that go. Ryan's just staying in the truck, so that's fine. Grab me some coffee, because I need it. I'm tired this morning. It's not even early. It's like 8.30, but I just been groggy all morning. It's kind of a lazy day. Really, really nice actually, it feels good. I like the little ding, ding. Excuse me. All right, have a great weekend. Oh, I forgot to mention, it is Friday, which is my favorite. Forgot to say that this morning. What's wrong with me? I think uh, Annie threw me off. She had me all discombobulated this morning.
pull over prison oh man you're going to prison hmm Hey, I'm Deputy P.I. with the Sheriff's Office. The reason I stopped you is your registration's expired from 2022. You guys got any weapons or ammo in the truck? No, sir. <laughs> Coming with a ticket. I see that already. I wonder why they use a passenger side now. They must be afraid of, like, traffic because there's been a lot of accidents, you know? I did find my insurance. You did find it? Yeah, you wanna see it? Yeah, I'll take a look at it. Here's your ID for you. It's this one right here. I got a lot of vehicles. I own a business, so. Okay. All right, so I did write you a citation for the registration. Yeah. Court date's January 16th at 24 at 9 a.m. It's okay. not required. If you wanna, if you get your vehicle registered and you wanna go to the court date and prove that you registered it, you can. Otherwise, uh, it's gonna be this amount paid on or before that date. Uh, all right. Any questions for me? No, not all at right. all. Well, thank good you. Good luck hunting. Drive all right. Safe, all thank right? you. Thanks, guys. That's a lot of money. One hundred and seventy-six dollars. That's steep. If wow. I put it there, it's in the dump. If I put it here, you're saying I'm going to lose it. If I put it in here, look at all these other papers. I'll just put it in there. Major your road rage right there. Guy in the red truck and the gray truck. Oh my goodness gonna get away from these dudes these guys are insane look at what he's doing look at what he's doing what a dog cage road rage the guy in the red truck's doing the right thing he's just backing off letting the dude go because if you're willing to do that, slam on your brakes multiple times and let the guy hit you, I mean, he's out of his mind already. You don't know what he's capable of, you know? I think he has kids in the car. You see the kids in the back? Yeah, there was kids in the back, like, digging through something. You gotta really be out of your mind to do that. Inviting people to hit you from behind when you got kids in the back seat. What a moron. This guy's on the phone with the police and he's getting a license plate. See him? That's why he zoomed up. Or she is. Yeah, she's on the phone with the police. Oh, it's by Fleet Farm? Yeah, Stevens Point. We always stop here. Not usually in the middle of the street though. Getting off the freeway in Thorpe. I'm gonna check this hotel and see if there's rooms here. Cause this looks way better than the one we usually go to. <laughs> right? Or you don't care? It's about the same distance too, so. Okay, it's locked. Oh yeah, they definitely must've used a plate reader. There's no way they saw that sticker from 2022. That's a different color. Yeah, but still. I think they just use the plate readers now. People are gonna say I'm so irresponsible. I can't believe Ryan would do something like that. Lawbreaker. They're gonna tear me up for this one. How's it going? Yep, two. Good. Still here, huh? Yeah. All right. Good. Really good. Yep. What's that? Uh, we're going out tonight. So we haven't gone out yet. So we just finished lunch at Torpedo. What'd you have? Meat skillet. And I had a taco salad. So we're just gonna go two doors over, see if they got a room over there. We gotta check in really quick. We only have three and a half hours before it closes. So we gotta hurry up. 
Bear Bridge Inn and Suite. Hello. Hi. Can you ask when you were down there? A little to the left. <laughs> Dealing with TV. We're putting a different TV up, but we don't have the exact legs. Brack. Oh, so okay. We're trying to rig it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Little duct tape. Oh, yeah, well, so far that's not helping. <laughs> you guys already tried duct tape? Well, we did super glue. Oh, super glue. Yeah. yeah. Duct tape is way better than super glue. <laughs> they tried to super glue the TV to the wall, but it didn't, <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> Can I get a phone number? <laughs> Hello? Oh, sorry. 414. And then I'm also going to need a photo ID. Not the first time I had to take this out today. <laughs> I think I get. Oh, I, need, I need a new wallet so bad. Mm. I don't even know what this is. How many licenses do I have? How many names do you have? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. This is for your trust. My trust? You mean when I croak? Yeah, you're right, it is. Yeah, you're right. First alternate agent. That's you? You're the first alternate agent if I croak, just so you know. So you did say as soon as we're done here, you're gonna go over and help? <laughs> <laughs> well, when we get back from hunting, if you guys are still working on it, I will. <laughs> they might be. <laughs> Address? You guys are really intrusive here. Well, I'd say your first farm, but I've Already seen what it looks like. You keep them. <laughs> wow, that was deep in the heart. <laughs> this is from six to ten in the morning, and you're going to be right upstairs towards the middle. Okay, thank you. The room key actually worked. It's got a little stink to it, but not bad. I'm sleeping on this side. Look at this view. Man. Just like Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, pretty much just like Las Vegas. Here, it's extra thick. Is it? Yeah, it's super thick. Oh, I'll wear my little beanie. I don't know like that. This has orange on it, look. Legendary. Yeah. If you're gonna go to the bathroom and change, I suggest you do it now, because I got, I feel something coming on. <laughs> Hopefully they yeah. have a plunger downstairs. Spray a lot back there. We got a problem in the bathroom. <laughs> At least I know I, I got something to do when I get back here. I'm going all camel. Just kidding. I have my orange coat. <laughs> yeah, I wear blaze orange when you go hunting around here during gun season. But not during bow season. Just meet me downstairs. Uh, Looks like they gave up. Hmm. Okay, we're just pulling up at the farm. I think the milkman's here. We'll have to say hello to the girls tomorrow or maybe tonight. Yep, the milkman's here collecting milk. I don't know if these guys went out yet or not. He said they were gonna be here in 20 minutes and that was like 30 minutes ago. So if they left, they just left. Is that a new dog? Same dog. No, no, that's definitely a new dog. No, remember Porky and uh, Chance. This is Chance. Hi, Chance. Hi, Chance. You have a new friend? Did your other friend die, or what happened to Porky? Porky wasn't looking good last time we were here, so that's a good possibility. Oh, is this the cat with no eye? No. You got both your eyes. Ooh. What y'all been eating? Mm. I'm gonna guess your name is Roger. Mm. Let me go see. 
All right, we talked to all our friends inside and we know where everybody else is going. So we got a plan. Ryan and I are going straight across the street, right past that field into the, into the wood line. We're gonna hunt over there. I guess they were up here last weekend and it was, it was driving? pretty dead. Of course I'm gonna drive. Let's go. It's too far to walk the whole way. I don't know. Sometimes I walk. Well, yeah, when I'm cat. Hey, kitty. You want to get squished? Tell me the truth. Kitty. Hay wagon. Hay wagon? All right. If I blow one out from the from the other spot, you're going to be mad. Wow, this is bad right here. If you what? If I shoot one from the other spot, you're gonna be mad you didn't sit in the other spot, though. Oh well. Okay. If you miss and it runs toward me, I'll get it. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not gonna miss. Not with my new rifle. Pow! Okay, we're at this spot. I gotta change my boots, throw my coat on. We gotta grab our tools. Tools of the trade. So Ryan is using a uh, 6.5 Creedmoor and I just bought it. He bought that last year brand new and I bought mine this year brand new. Mine is a 6.5 PRC. All right, we are on our way. So Ryan and I are going to hunt the same area, but we have a lot of distance between us. He's basically going to sit right on the edge of this field and then I'll go back. I'll show you where I'm going to go. We've shot some deer. Uh, we've seen deer quite a few times. You see the tracks all over the place. We've seen a bear here too, which was interesting. But it's just good to be out. Here's a nice scrape right here. A lot of the deer around here are very, very nocturnal. Your only chance of shooting a deer around here is right at dusk and right at dawn. So usually it's the last 20 minutes. This is where Ryan hunts. All right, that's it for tonight. All right, we're out of here. It was a nice night, but no action. My hands actually got a little cold. It's 23 degrees, didn't have any gloves all night. I don't say that very often, but it happens occasionally. They're not bad. I just want to know if anybody shot something. I heard the one shot and that was it. We came to the other side of the farm and nobody's in yet, so they might be looking for a deer. Nothing. Skunked. Skunked again, yep. Alright, have a good night. Yeah. Alright, we're back at the hotel. We're gonna get changed. We got invited back. The guys at the farm are gonna cook up some back straps. They invited us over, so we're gonna head over back with them. That's one cool thing about hunting when you got a group of guys up here. If you don't get a deer, at least you can sit around and laugh and joke around with each other. Enjoy some time together. These guys up here are really, really good guys. Do you guys have like a good plunger I could borrow? Sure. It's embarrassing to ask, but you know, my son plugged up the toilet. What are you gonna do? I can? All right, we might need it again. <laughs> Have a good night. I told the lady who plugged up the toilet I needed a plunger. <laughs> Look at the Quick Trip cow. We stopped at Quick Trip. We're gonna grab some chips and dip, some soda. The Quick Trip cow, that's really cool. This is a 
two year old quick trip. It's almost brand new, maybe less than two years. It's nice, really nice. I feel bad for the two little gas stations across the street though. We gotta get chips and dip. We should get these. The Takis, the Taki Blue Heat. See how the guys look <laughs> like those. Hi there. Did you bring the duct tape to help with TV? You are at work here too? Yes. Wow, like from one shift to the next. That's crazy. I left, went down to the bank, came up here, changed my shirt, locked in. Wow, you're a workaholic. <laughs> So did you bring the duct tape to help? You're not going to be like somewhere else where we go to because that's going to get creepy. I won't say anything. Okay, we'll see you later then. All of a sudden I thor torpedo. Oh yeah, can I help you? <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. Probably see you again, yep. Uh oh. What's this? Horse drawn buggy. Look at that. that that's so funny. That's the second time me and Ryan has seen that. Uh, we were talking about that and cracking up before. So those horse drawn buggies, they have two candles in the front for headlights. <laughs> <laughs> And you can't see anything. <laughs> I know that horse is mad. But like, give me some proper light, please. <laughs> All right, we're back to the hotel. Dinner was good. What did you think? Yeah. It was actually roadkill. We had backstrap from a from a fine. <laughs> no, <laughs> from a roadkill deer. Honestly, we did, but. We were told it was pretty fresh, so we believed them. If we fall deathly ill tonight, um, hopefully somebody finds this video. Good morning, we are in our hotel room. It's about five o'clock, Ryan's in the shower. We're gonna head back out. Morning times here at the farm are not the greatest. Uh, the situation is not great because you have to get to the woods through the farm fields. Uh, in the morning, the deer are already in the farm fields and they're feeding. So when you walk in, you scare all the deer and <laughs> we basically never see or shoot anything in the morning, but uh, it's always worth a try. And then uh, I'm gonna buy everybody lunch so you, you guys will get to meet the group of guys that we're with. And then we're gonna hunt one more time tonight. And that's it. Hotel breakfast, sausage, French toast. Just waiting on Ryan. He's taking forever. I don't really mind because morning hunts here are not great. So whether I get there late or not, I don't care. Why don't you get something to eat? There's like muffins and stuff. You don't want anything? Uh huh? Well, of course we're gonna eat later. <laughs> what do you think? All right, we're out of here. I don't know what the temp is, it's pretty cold. It's pretty cold, but it's not windy. It's perfect for hunting, actually. Crispy. Whew. All right, I just dropped Ryan off. I'm not gonna hunt in the same area as Ryan. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down a little bit to another field. Down here, you can just I can walk around and stuff. Nobody else is gonna be down here. So if I get bored, I can go for a walk or whatever, which I do get bored pretty quick. In the mornings here, because I have <laughs> I have very little hope that anything's coming out, but you never know. So I'll sit for a little while, then I usually get down, walk around. I'm all set. Start to walk out there. Try to be quiet.
I don't know if you guys can hear all the coyotes. But that's the direction I'm headed right now. That's never good when you're deer hunting. There. Oh, it's way out there though. here a little more than an hour and I'm pretty much ready to get down already <laughs> all right it's 903 I've been sitting in this spot for over an hour just sitting on the ground so I'm probably just gonna walk back to the truck now I think I'm gonna call it quits for this morning so we got one more sit tonight and then we're heading back home right away tonight. We'll see what happens. Oh, that was comfortable though. I was getting sleepy. I didn't fall asleep, but I almost did. <laughs> uh, if you can't get a deer, at least you can get a nap. They're pumping manure out of the, out of the pit. So that big spray that you see, that is not water, that is poop. <laughs> yeah, delicious. Quick trip. Is Tom here today at all? Nope, not today. Not today. I'm coming back and I see Ryan, he's walking through the field. So he's gonna be happy. I'll drive over there and pick him up. There he is. You didn't shoot anything? Me, no. Oh, I just heard two shots right there. When, earlier? No, literally right now. Oh, I was at the gas station in Stanley. There's guys hunting right on the other side of the trees. They have a, when I went around, I saw them. They're there right now. Oh. Did you see anything? Nope. Man. Squirrel, squirrels this time. All right, well, we're moving up. I had squirrels too. And I had a coyote, which I almost pulled the trigger on. But it just, I didn't have a rest and I was a little shaky and I just didn't feel like I'd make, I could make a good shot. So I didn't shoot. I think we should go see this poopity doopity operation. Let's go see. You think it stinks? I don't want to go see. Oh, I do. You're missing out. So that pit right there, the cow barn, there's a conveyor belt. So the cows poop and you know, they go and the conveyor belt conveys it all the way to this holding pond or pit. And uh, obviously it fills up. So occasionally they pump it. So right now it looks like he's just stirring it up. He's pumping it out. And they pump it into these trailers and then they go spread it on the fields. But I can tell you one thing, it reeks. Oh, look at that. That's really disgusting. What do you think? Don't go swimming in there. No, no, no. This is the trailer. But uh, that's where it all sprays out, right out the back. Sprays it in a big fan pattern and shoots it all over the fields. Poopity.
doobity. Look at the little calves. They're so cute. So there you go. If you ever wonder what happens to all the cow poop, that's what happens to it. Now you know the whole operation. And now it's fertilizer for next year's crops. I got two of these tractors with trailers and they're just gonna, they keep rotating. Right. You got burrs on your fur, by the way. I said, I'm pretty sure tonight things are gonna be popping. The deer can't hide forever. If I don't see a deer tonight, that's gonna be the first time I've ever come here and not seen a deer. Normally we always at least see deer. All right, my friend Tim, he built a really nice deer stand back there and I haven't seen it yet. So he's gonna go show us. He, he built one of them fancy deer stands that you'll never get cold in. Yeah, you got enough side and you could build an addition. Yep. Man, it's like a tiny house. You can live up there for sure. Man, this thing is huge. Mm, built it around a tree. Look at it. Man, this thing is nice. This is enormous. All insulated. Yep. Mice visitors, but. Heater. I bet it heats up nice in here. It does. This is just seems like a great place to fall asleep, though. Oh, it is. <laughs> I, I take naps in here. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> That's why I said you want to come on here and take a nap. This is probably the best one to sit like right here. here. Man, this is really luxurious. <laughs> this is way better than the hay wagon, right, Ryan? <laughs> Ryan's worried his feet are gonna go through it so rotted. <laughs> yeah, a really good view. I mean, you can even see out there all the way to the corner. It's a good spot. Excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, we're taking off for lunch. We're going into Stanley. What's that pizza place called? Do you remember? Whoa, Shauna, watch out, dude. Almost ran Shauna over. There's a cow behind me, two dogs in front of me. Okay, we're at a restaurant called Martino's and we normally come here. They have a really good pizza buffet. I think I still have a gift certificate from here. I'm pretty sure. All right. Two. No, we got a pretty good sized group. Is there any way we could sit over there? Yeah, do you know how many you have? Probably like seven, eight. Something like that. Yeah, around eight-ish. Okay. Three, three jumbos? Yeah. I don't know. Cause we gotta bring some back. Were you, were you here with us? Were yeah, you here last time? Was. And we got those three big hosses? <laughs> two or three? We got no, we got way too much pizza. Yeah. Way too much. That pizza is enormous. They don't do a buffet here anymore, do they? No, they don't. Oh, I haven't been here in years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they used to. This looks good. Oh yeah, this looks really oh, good. Yeah. I slept until 10 <laughs> I went to yeah, bed. I tried. Like you didn't hunt this morning? No, he didn't. What? You slept till 10 30 in the morning? <laughs> Man. You should get your hunting license revoked for that. <laughs> if I was ahead of DNR, you would. Like, that's it. Yeah, there's like some mints and candy. Dum dum for you, Jared. Make sure you say thank you to the waiter. Thank you to Mr. Ryan. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Got one to go. 
for the guys at the farm. I'm sure they'll enjoy that. Nice hot pizza. So we got a pizza to go and you know you're up north when they put a target on the back of your pizza box. <laughs> That's funny, man. Get your pizza, side and your gun, and then get out in the woods. Got your receipt. Oh, my card? Did the guy give it to you? <laughs> yeah. Man, I almost forgot my... No, he forgot to give it back to me. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. thank you. We only bought a few things on the ride. That's though. okay, man. As long as I got the car, <laughs> no problem. I'm going to give it a little time before I get dressed and go out. They're still running loads of poop. That's a lot, man. They've been running all day since this morning, real early this morning. And it doesn't even seem like the pond went down. All right, this is it. It's quarter to two. We're headed out. The only problem we have is they are spreading manure in most of the fields that we've been hunting in. So that's probably not great. Ryan's spraying himself down. Yep. You just sprayed yourself down? Yeah, why not? I don't know. What if deer like pizza and we already smell like pizza and you just ruined it for yourself? Exactly. You'll see them running over by me. <sighs> They're spreading poop all over the place. It was bad timing, I guess, for us. I'll just let you guys know if anything exciting happens. So we got about two hours and not two and a half hours to sit. That's it, 4.43. It's closed. Not a single deer seen again. Ryan didn't shoot at all. So we're going home empty handed again, unfortunately. Man, this was actually the worst hunting trip we've ever had. We've never gone and not seen deer. Normally we see multiple deer. Some once in a while we even get a deer, but not this year. It wasn't meant to be. Thinking about possibly leasing some land next year somewhere where the deer population is a little bit better just to give us a better chance there's a possibility ryan might have more time next fall so he'd be able to utilize it more so if he does that's probably what i'll end up doing if i can find the right piece of property obviously all right let's go talk to ryan and talk to the guys i heard a total of i think 11 shots came from the other side of the farm I always look forward to getting getting home after hunting because my wife and kids, they put up the Christmas tree this time of year, every year. So when I come home, it's awesome to come inside and just see everything they've done. It's almost Christmas. My favorite time of year. It probably didn't help that the Feasty Flinger 5000s were surrounded, uh, had us surrounded all night. Where did they go, up to there? What in the world? I heard 11 shots. And one of the times it was five in a row. <laughs> I know. I thought it was four. I'm pretty sure it was probably Matthew with that ear arc. Probably missed five times. Yeah, probably. The good thing is, they said this barrel is only good for like 1,250 rounds. Oh. So I didn't wear it out okay. at all. And we didn't spend any money on ammunition. I didn't want to wear it out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> so really, this was this was good. Really good. We heard 10 shots come from your side of the farm. Don't tell me you guys didn't shoot something. I didn't shoot anything. There were guys deer driving behind there. What's that? There were guys deer driving. Oh, that wasn't from us at that all? not from us at all. Oh, man. So they they were just taking multiple shots. They were uh -huh. hitting they were hitting anything. I don't like so. No. <laughs> We heard four or five shots in a row, you know, they didn't hit oh, anything. Yeah. yeah. Man, poop patrol's still going. That's good work by Jackson to hang on. He got smacked by Porcherine, and that will be a first down at the 38 yard line of Wisconsin. That's a heck of a catch. We've seen. Uh, All right, see you later. Nothing. Jackson did a Nothing. Great job Nothing. But thank you. Yep. Did you get your pizza?
At least you guys were warm and comfortable, right? I thought so. Oh, come on. Nothing? Nope, not a thing. Seriously? We thought that was you guys shooting. We heard 11 rounds over here. Yeah, I know. It was the neighbors. The neighbors? All right, you ready? Let's get out of here. We got a long drive. Hey, Matthew. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, see you guys. Yep, see you guys. Later. Later. Yep. Next time, more success for sure. More success next time. Hey, do you happen to have any hats I can buy for you? I don't have any. Okay. Sorry. That's the only one I have is the one on my head and it's a little dirty. I don't think you'd really want it. <laughs> Unless you don't care. I, don't I mean, care. it's clean on the outside. You can have it. I mean, it's just got a little... Actually, this one's actually this one's really clean. You don't have to buy it. You can just have it. Oh, thanks. Yep. All right, see you hey, later. Hey, this is even cooler. Yep, now you got my <laughs> hat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just fueled up that quick trip. And we're gonna grab something to eat and then hit the road. Oh, what to get for dinner. These are really good. I'm just gonna get one of these. I'm not that hungry. We ate too much pizza. Let's see what Ryan gave. What do you get? Chocolate milk? Protein. Oh, so healthy. We had to video this. We're just pulling in the driveway. And the girls and Daniel Put up all the lights. We've never had this many lights at this house. This looks so good. That looks good. They did a professional job. Get no deer though. That's okay, right? At least we got lights if we didn't get a deer. So festive around here. Let me see this tree. You guys have a fire going and everything. Annie, hi Annie. Wow, the tree looks great. Really nice. Is that a brand new tree? Yes, we yes. bought the tree. We went to the store wow. and picked it up. You don't imagine how long it is. We got a new bow. <laughs> it looks really good. This has a remote, Daniel? Yeah, yeah it has different lights. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Do you love yeah. it? Do you love it, Grace? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Looks really good. And you got all this yeah, here too. Lights yeah, the lights outside look great. Who was on the roof? Lindsay. Lindsay, you're on the yes. roof? Because wow. yeah, I know how to go get Kevin's ladder next door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We could have made a yeah. movie. Yeah. And then us us going no, to the store and getting this tree. It was. Then we had to move this couch. Oh, oh we, we, we made a video. <laughs> we did a video. Wow. We should have made our own video. And look at all this. So yeah. nice. Yeah. Wow. Did you like the lights outside? Yeah, super, super <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very festive. We work very hard. Yeah, I see that. These girls really help a lot. Me and Ryan were just pretty yeah, much yeah. just sitting on our butts. <laughs> doing, doing nothing. Oh, wow. <laughs> so now that mom spent all our money on decorations, <laughs> there's no more money for gifts. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, I just, I she said you I went 
fireworks, so we're going all on Christmas. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you guys. So that's going to end this video. It's pretty cool when you come home after, you know, kind of a disappointing hunt to come home to a, a surprise like that. That's really cool. We haven't done anything like this at our house. Um, I just don't decorate. We decorate a little bit, but nothing like this. This was a huge surprise. So I will see you guys on the next one. Adios.